Completing the wearables ecosystem, Meta, the parent company of Facebook, WhatsApp, and Instagram, has just released three types of smart glasses. Among the three, Meta Ray-Ban Display stands out. It is the first AI display glasses to integrate a camera with a screen, similar to the concept of the previous Google Glass. The arrival of Meta Ray-Ban Display completes the three types of smart glasses that Meta has introduced since the beginning. AI glasses with cameras, such as Ray-Ban Meta, AI glasses with screens, such as Meta Ray-Ban Display, and AR glasses introduced through the Meta Orion prototype. All three have their own advantages, with slightly different usage scenarios. And it can be said that the Meta Ray-Ban Display is a more complete version of the Ray-Ban Meta, where the features offered are more interactive thanks to the integration of a special screen on the glasses' lenses. For this reason, the latest Meta glasses come in a slightly larger size, plus a special wristband that must be used to make feature navigation more intuitive. Designed to be interactive with a special wristband, yes, it is evident that the Meta Ray-Ban display design is larger or thicker, these advanced glasses are available in two color options, black and sage, as well as two different sizes, standard and large. The glasses weigh 69 grams, with the Meta Neural Band weighing 42 grams, which must be worn. This is an electromyography or EMG wristband that Meta has been developing for four years. The function of the wristband is to detect wrist muscle movements enabling it to recognize the user's finger gestures, allowing Meta Ray-Ban Display users to answer calls, reply to WhatsApp messages, and take photos using simple finger gestures. There's no need to press buttons on the glasses like with the standard Ray-Ban Meta. Both the glasses and the wristband come with IPX7 certification. What makes Meta Ray-Ban Display different is, of course, the integrated monocular display on the right lens with a resolution of 600 times 600 pixels, a maximum refresh rate of 90 hertz, and a brightness up to 5,000 nits. The screen won't stay on continuously. It only activates when accessing specific features. For example, accessing Meta AI with more intuitive visuals, or navigating using a map, so you no longer have to look at your smartphone screen while walking. And of course, with the integrated display, Meta Ray-Ban Display users can make video calls while viewing the video of the person they're talking to, or even see private text chats on WhatsApp. Plus, it can be used to preview photos or videos, including using the zoom feature for more precise framing. You can also view album art while playing music and understand the live translation feature, including live captions, more clearly. The Meta Ray-Ban display battery can last up to six hours. Meta has embedded a 12-megapixel camera sensor in the Meta Ray-Ban display frame, supporting full HD+, 30fps video recording, and 3 times digital zoom. As for the speakers, they remain the same as before, with a total of 6 microphones that can be used to activate the conversation boost feature. The voice of the person speaking will be made louder, helping when you need to talk in noisy situations. And with more complete features, the Meta Ray-Ban Display Battery is claimed to be able to last up to six hours for mixed scenarios. Paired with a charging case, it can add up to 24 hours. Meanwhile, the Meta Neural Band can last up to 18 hours. The Meta Ray-Ban Display's 32 gigabytes of internal storage can hold more than 500 photos or more than 130-second videos. Compatible with both iPhone and Android, the Meta Ray-Ban display is priced starting at $799 US dollars. These smart glasses are sold in limited regions, primarily at specialty eyewear stores that can customize the display lenses according to each user's prescription.
In addition to introducing its latest smart glasses featuring an integrated display on the lenses, Meta continues to update its more popular smart glasses, the Ray-Ban Meta. Retaining the exact same design, the Ray-Ban Meta Gen 2 offers twice the battery life, plus a higher quality 3K Ultra HD camera. Yes, the introduction of the Meta Ray-Ban display is not meant to replace the Ray-Ban Meta, but rather to add to Meta's smart glasses options, especially given its fairly fantastic price tag, starting at $799 US. Meanwhile, the Ray-Ban Meta Gen 2 is still much more affordable, although it is actually slightly more expensive than the first generation. For everyday use, the Ray-Ban Meta Gen 2 is certainly more suitable, as the frame dimensions are not overly large compared to conventional glasses. Additionally, Meta has released a similar pair of glasses specifically designed for those who are more active in sports. Through the Oakley Meta Vanguard series, it offers special integration with sports platforms like Garmin and Strava, along with IP67 certification for more extreme weather conditions. The Ray-Ban Meta Gen 2 camera can record higher quality videos. So what are the differences between the Ray-Ban Meta Gen 2 and the first version? In terms of hardware, there are only two points, namely the battery and camera sensor. The rest is more or less the same, although when viewed on the official website, the second generation is 3 grams heavier, both in standard and large sizes. Both are available in three frame styles, Wayfarer, Skyler, and Headliner. Specifically for the Ray-Ban Meta Gen 2, Meta has released a limited edition variant with a transparent frame, but this time the finish is matte. The good news is that the battery life of the Ray-Ban Meta Gen 2 is now twice as long, lasting up to eight hours of continuous standard use. Plus, it supports fast charging, reaching 50% in just 20 minutes. Meanwhile, the Ray-Ban Meta Gen 2 charging case, which has the same design and weight, can extend battery life up to 48 hours, compared to 36 hours in the previous generation. Still using a 12-megapixel ultra-wide sensor, the Ray-Ban Meta Gen 2 camera can now record video up to 3K UHD 30fps, including ultra-wide HDR. Additionally, through a software update, two new recording modes will be available, hyperlapse and slow motion. In addition to 3K resolution, it also supports 1080p video at 30 or 60 FPS. The rest is largely the same, with many AI features that are increasingly comprehensive, though these were also present in the first generation. All these improvements come with a price increase. The Ray-Ban Meta Gen 2 now starts at $379 US dollars, no longer starting at $299 US dollars. still have many similarities beyond design aspects. Through improvements in battery life and video recording, Meta does not explicitly mention the chipset configuration used. If it is indeed the same, it means it still uses the Qualcomm Snapdragon AR1 Gen 1 chip, paired with 32GB of internal storage, which is claimed to be sufficient to store more than 1,000 photos or 100 videos lasting 30 seconds. Each arm of the Ray-Ban Meta Gen 2 glasses still features open-ear speakers with adaptive volume, along with a total of five microphones distributed across various corners of the frame. A new feature is Conversation Focus, which uses the speakers to amplify the voice of the person you're talking to, helping users communicate more comfortably in noisy environments. Meta is also preparing to expand its live translation feature adding two new countries, Germany and Portugal. This feature is said to work offline as well, provided the necessary data for each language has been downloaded. Are you looking forward to its official release, or are you more interested in the Meta Ray-Ban display? <laughs>